Hey, you should like subscribe or something. Anyway, welcome back to Oh uh, Yeah Watches Garbage for your entertainment part 6578, everybody's favorite show. Yep, we're back again, doing another one of these. Last time, we took a look at the growing trend of amazing digital circus content farm videos that cropped up at the end of 2023. This time, however, we're going to be talking about an older content farm trend that has recently been revived from the dead. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what this is about. For the first time in a long time, I'm taking a look at the mascot horror indie darling, Poppy Playtime. Being essentially the game that kicked off the state of the genre we're at right now, Poppy Playtime, of course, has its fair share of content farms dedicated to it. However, in the period of time between Poppy Chapter 2 and Poppy Chapter 3, the specific genre of content farm videos went pretty under the radar. This is around the time that Ban Ban came in to pick up the slack, but for a long time there, Poppy content farms were not that popular. Not even the release of Project Playtime could help revive this once thriving farm. When Poppy Chapter 3 finally dropped, however, everything sprung to life once more. And now there's so much garbage, slop, and trash to talk about. So strap in everybody, as we take a trip through some of the worst YouTube content you will ever see with your two big fat eyeballs. We'll see some new faces, some old faces, and most importantly, some really bad YouTube videos. This is Exposing the Worst Poppy Playtime YouTubers. Let's get into it. So. You're probably wondering how we're gonna go about this. Last time, I had the help of an image that Gooseworks posted to choose the videos I talked about. However, this time I do not have that luxury. I gotta find the slop myself. That's fine though, I already consider myself a professional slop hunter at this point. When it's pretty much your entire job, you better be good at it. Well, I guess my entire job is actually that, plus playing shitty Cuphead clones now, so you can decide which of those is more important. Anyway, even if I don't have the videos we're going to talk about today handed to me on a silver platter, I still want to format the video the same way I did the previous one. So here's how this is going to work for those who are new here. I will be choosing a set of videos and splitting them into different categories based on the contents of said videos. Similar to last time, these categories will be topics such as animations, fake gameplay videos, really weird shit, you get the drill. So don't you worry, we'll be going over a wide variety of garbage to make sure we cast the largest net over Poppy Playtime content farm trash. Sound simple? Well, that's because it is. For you at least. Maybe not so much for me. I am still mentally recovering from the digital circus fetish shit. Ugh. <laughs> Besides that, with no more yapping to do on my part, I say we get right into this nonsense, starting with our first category, fake gameplay videos. If you don't remember, for whatever reason, I made an entire video on this topic a while back when Garten of Ban Ban fake gameplay videos were really blowing up. Since some time has passed since then, I thought it would be fitting to start this video by checking in on an old friend of the channel, Buggy Huggy. Who, by the way, never made a video with Handy Dan, officially making them my rival for life. Just kidding, I love you Buggy Huggy, please don't be mad at me. Listen, Buggy Huggy... Buggy Huggy was kind of down bad for a little bit there. He was on an absolute roll with the Ban Ban shit, but as it slowly started to die off in the later half of 2023, I don't think he really knew what to do with his channel. There was an attempt at a fake Skibbity Toilet video at one point, and it didn't go really well, so he just went straight back to making Ban Ban stuff. However, finally with the release of Poppy Chapter 3, Buggy Huggy was able to go back to his roots of making fake Poppy Playtime gameplay videos. The main draw of these videos, similar to the Ban Ban ones, are the addition of new OC characters, to try and trick small children who think everything they see on YouTube is real. The subject this time isn't just shittily traced Pixar movie characters like the Ban Ban stuff. This time, it's actual competent art of new Smiling Critters OCs. Ah yes, the Smiling Critters. We're going to be seeing a lot of them today. Just be prepared for that. They are easily the most popular aspect of the new chapter, and it makes sense. Not only do Catnap and Dog Day have fire monster designs, but all the smaller toy designs of the critters are great as well. It just makes sense that they would be the most content farmed aspect of the chapter. It's also just a really simple format to follow. Introduce a smiling critter, give them a monster design at some point later, 
profit. I don't want to spend the entire video watching this guy again, as much as I am Buggy Huggy's number one fan. So, I've decided to pick two videos from this new era to watch and talk about here today. I think it's only fitting to pick one video featuring an OC character, and one video featuring just some generic fake gameplay stuff. With that said, let's take a look at the first video today, Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, I Found Rejected Critter Cardboard Cutout. For starters, and this isn't really about the video at all, but I will not be attempting to make my own Smiling Critter OC today. Not only are my drawing skills not good enough to even try and replicate the art style, I also don't even know if the bootleg plush business for these guys is anywhere as crazy as Prime Garden of Banban. -Ban. So no, no Handy Dan Part 2 today, sorry. <laughs> that aside, we still have a video to go through, so let's do that. This video starts off with everybody's favorite part of these fake gameplay videos, the like and subscribe pop-up. You know, it's just so comforting knowing that even after all these months, Buggy Huggy is still using the exact same sound effect for these. Never change, man. Never change. Anyway, the protagonist is in this storage type area full of these cardboard cutouts. If you don't know, for some reason, these cutouts are all over the Poppy games. They feature cute art of relevant characters, and all have a red button on them that you can push with your grab pack. Pushing said button gives you some dialogue from the character. I'm over here stroking my dick, I got lotion on my dick. In Chapter 3, these cutouts are mostly of the smiling critters, and the whole twist with them is that the more you push the button, the more twisted and evil the dialogue becomes. So, this specific genre of poppy fake gameplay videos consists of the player finding an all new cutout that's never been seen before and pushing the button on it a few times. One thing I would always give Buggy Huggy is at least the Ban Ban videos had some effort put into them, especially at the rate they were being produced, mind you. These, however, this is next level lazy, but yet it works. So visually, there isn't really anything going on in this video. Once the player finds the Smiling Critters OC cutout, they just stand at it, hitting the button for the rest of the video. But you know what? Fine. This could be neat if Buggy Huggy hired some voice actors, and this was more of just a small little thing to let them show off their skills. That would actually be pretty cool. Let's take a listen to what this tiger cutout has to say. Hi, I'm Tiggy Tigers. Do you have some stripes just like me? No! Let's play some more! Yep, it's fucking AI voice acting. Awesome! Sometime, in between my video on Buggy Huggy and now, he started using AI voices for characters in his videos. And man, it is just so soulless. <laughs> well, that and it's also just really scummy, but besides the point. This guy absolutely has the money to hire voice actors. Just choosing not to in the position he's in is really bad. It would also just improve the quality of the videos in general, because oh boy do these AI voices suck. <laughs> not only do they sound like shit, but the writing isn't very good either. It takes the concept of the Smiling Critters cutout dialogue and just removes any subtlety they once had. We also get this lovely AI scream from the tiger as well. I guess I should talk about the actual character featured here. This is Tiggy Tigers, which is actually a pretty decent design, I won't lie. I'm just confused how we got here, because as far as I can tell, these designs and drawings are original to Buggy Huggy. Yet his OCs in the Ban Ban era consisted of poorly replicating the game's art style and tracing fucking Angry Birds pigs. Maybe he just hired someone for these drawings, but given he won't hire voice actors, who even knows, man? This would be the part of the video where I bring up a fun fact about Tiggy Tigers from the Poppy Fanon wiki. But that wiki sucks apparently and doesn't have an entry for this character, so I guess I'll just have to make up my own fact. Alright, here goes. Tiggy Tigers is. Best friends with Stinky Joel from Ban Ban Content Farms. Don't question how they even know each other, it's not important. Please draw fan art of Stinky Joel and Tiggy Tigers going on fun adventures in the park and tweet them at me on Twitter. Thanks. Anyway, we're almost done talking about Buggy. But first, we have one more video to take a look at. We've seen the lazy side of this new Poppy era. Now let's take a look at the classic Buggy Huggy fake gameplay videos. This is Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, Meeting with Picky Piggy Gameplay 02. Off rip. I just want to point out that some things truly never change. If you remember from the Ban Ban stuff, Buggy would always pretend that his content was gameplay of whatever the next installment in the series was. We're back on that bullshit once again, as we take an exciting exclusive sneak peek at Poppy Chapter 4. Wow, thank you so much Buggy Huggy, you truly are a hero in this community. Also, one last thing before we get into this actual video, I just really love that the assumption here is that Mob Games would just continue to use the Smiling Critters in future chapters, even though Catnap and Dog Day were literally stated to be the last of the Smiling Critters? <laughs> like, this isn't Ban Ban, dude. They're not about to start adding new Smiling Critters to the fucking wall mural every chapter. Stinky Joel is dead, man, move on! Anyway, 
Onto the slop. This fake gameplay video takes place directly following the ending of Poppy Chapter 3, where Kissy Missy gets jumped or something. The funniest thing about this, right off the bat at least, is that the use of both voice lines from the actual game and the AI voices is so funny. This was also kind of a thing in the previous video we talked about, but this one in particular really shows it best. We start the video with the final line of dialogue that Poppy says in the game, and then it immediately cuts to the buggy huggy footage where Poppy sounds like she became a fucking robot in between chapters. It's just, it's just amazing, guys. <laughs> Try run ahead of oh my god! <laughs> anyway, this video also shows us that Garten of Ban Ban was doing Buggy Huggy a lot of favors in the quality department. Because the actual Ban Ban games have a very easy visual style to replicate, Buggy Huggy's fake chapter videos almost looked like real gameplay, minus the weird camera movements. Here, however, this shit is Poppy Playtime Nokia Brick Phone Timu version. Yes, team when you apply the same level of effort from a Ban Ban video to a Poppy video, you can immediately see the cracks starting to form. AI Poppy mm -hmm. yaps for a little bit as the player and her go down to an elevator thing, until they eventually reach the bottom and enter an abandoned set of tunnels. One thing I will say here is that the environments, assuming they're custom made, actually do not look half bad. When everything else looks garbage, you take the Ws you can get. Eventually, Poppy leads the player to a ladder that they must go down to find Kissy Missy, who is just down here apparently. <laughs> sure, let's just forget the start of the very fucking video. Of course she's down here. Also, Poppy turns British for one single line of dialogue. What in the world happened here? I, I don't even know. Down here is our safe spot. She might be somewhere. Let's go downstairs and check for her. Chat, this might be proof that AI is gaining sentience and also choosing to be British for some reason. Buggy, you might want to stop using AI voices before they take over the world. This is a sign, man. Once the player makes it down, they find Kissy Missy, who is almost immediately jumped by thousands of smiling critter toys. She smacks the shit out of one of them before fulfilling her girl failure destiny and losing to a bunch of toys. Listen, Kissy Missy might be a girl failure, but she's our girl failure. Player runs for a little bit with Poppy to escape the horde, Kissy Missy dies probably maybe, and finds Finally, they make it to safety next to a bunch of our favorite cardboard cutouts, which I guess are actually just gonna be the replacement for the Ban Ban wall art murals in these videos. This cutout teases Ollie, aka that one kid in Poppy 3 who calls you all the time and sounds exactly like FNAF Gregory. I guess in this universe, Ollie is the male counterpart to Poppy. If that actually happens, I think Mob Games might need to give Buggy Huggy $20 million in royalties, I'm not gonna lie. After Poppy stops yapping about Ollie, Picky Piggy finally reveals himself. Kind of? It's more like he says one single line of AI dialogue while being almost completely hidden in a dark tunnel, followed by a to be continued. I feel genuinely lied to. Where was this meeting with Picky Piggy I was promised? The thumbnail looks so cool too, I am so hurt right now. How could you do this to me, Buggy Huggy? Anyway, that's enough of that. Maybe once this new series is more fleshed out like the Ban Ban one, I can do a dedicated video just to Buggy Huggy again because I genuinely do have a lot of fun talking about his videos. But for now, it's best we just move on to other content farm topics today. Last time I gave a ranking to each of the channels I covered, and this time I'm gonna do the same thing. Buggy Huggy gets a British Poppy out of 10. Next, comic dubs, again. <laughs> if you thought for whatever reason that this video wouldn't have any repeat categories from the last one, you'd be dead wrong because these are still a problem. I already talked about these last time, so uh, here's a very quick description of what these videos are. Person make comic, other person takes and or steals comic, hire random actors to dub said comic, profit. A very simple idea, yet somehow, over the years, it has become one of the most exploitative genres of content on this cursed website. Any weird sexual fetish you can think of is probably being used as clickbait for a comic dub video which mind you, almost exclusively uses characters from popular children's media. It's really just a sick combination of things that has been a problem for a while and still is a problem to this day. Now, it's one thing when they do this with the Digital Circus, which features only adult characters and is debatably more for a general audience than a kid audience. However, it's another thing when the characters being featured in these comic dubs are from something very specifically targeted at kids, such as Poppy Playtime and the Smiling Critters. There are countless channels just like this, but today, I'd like to pick a random channel from my magic hat that definitely exists and will definitely be edited into the video. That honor goes to the YouTube channel known as Law Land. Oh, I'm sure there will be some LOLs to be had here. I definitely won't want to poke my eyes out with fucking forks. I really do not know how much of this channel I can even show you all. 
nor do I really even want to show you all. One single scroll down Lawland's videos, and it's exclusively thumbnails featuring NSFW material of the Smiling Critters. This is by far the worst case of this sort of content I have ever covered, even worse than any comic dub channels I talked about previously. How YouTube keeps any of this up when it's clearly targeting young people is beyond me, especially when they instead go after innocent channels who aren't even doing anything wrong. I don't even want to talk about any of the videos in particular here. You can probably already guess what they'll be about. I just wanted to make sure you're all aware that this shit is still happening and will likely continue to happen with every single new content farm trend for the rest of time. If it's making YouTube money, might as well just turn a blind eye to it, right? Maybe one day YouTube will actually crack down on these channels that are obviously doing something wrong, but who knows when that will happen. Could be tomorrow, could be 10 years from now. But I just want you all to remember that for the most part, comic dubs are the ultimate Trojan horse for shilling NSFW content to a demographic that really shouldn't be engaging with that shit. Enough about comic dubs though. Let's talk about one final content farm channel before I wrap up to brighten the mood a little bit. I give Lawland a channel termination out of 10. Next, AI Storytime Slop. For the final section of this video, I wanted to go over another type of content farm content that I haven't really talked about before, that being AI-generated storytime videos. These are actually significantly more popular on short-form video sites such as TikTok, but some remains of the genre bleed over to YouTube occasionally. These videos consist of a story being told using an AI-generated voice, AI art for the visuals, and sometimes AI scripts if they're really bad. It is truly, truly bottom of the fucking barrel content in a sea of bottom of the barrel content. I would hard argue that these are worse than the AI shit I covered last time like the 360 videos, because at least those were short and essentially had nothing going on. These are whole ass eight minute long stories that you gotta sit down and pay attention to. Do you think I wanna do that? Me? A grown ass person sitting down for eight minutes to learn the sad AI generated lore of Bubba Bubba Fint or whatever? Well, yes. Yes, I do want to do that. So we're gonna do that. Man, I love this job. <laughs> this then leads us into the subject of today's video, The Film Bee. The Film Bee started off as a Squid Games content farm channel of all things, which I guess makes sense to some degree. If I was making these sorts of videos when Squid Game first blew up, I'm sure I would have done a video just like this one on Squid Game content farms, because they were wild. <laughs> anyway, over time, Film Bee pivoted away from Squid Game content and instead started making AI storytime videos about mascot horror characters mostly Poppy and Bam Bam. There's some other stuff thrown in there for good measure as well, such as Skibbity Toilet and Rainbow Friends, but the bread and butter of this channel is Ban Ban and Poppy. I think the most important thing to mention about these videos is that outside of the titles and character names, these videos actually have nothing to do with the source material they're writing a story about. Whether this is just a horror skunks thing where they don't really care to be accurate, or these are being written by AI, I'm not really sure. But regardless, it leads to some insanely funny stories. This then transitions into the video I watched for this video, which was Catnap vs. Dog Day, Dark Origin Story, Poppy Playtime for Real Life. The thing to note about this video is that to enjoy it, you have to forget everything you know about Poppy Playtime and its story. This is a story that has nothing to do with the actual games. You just gotta pretend it makes sense and go along with it. All right, allow me to go through this story so you can get a good idea of what this channel is all about. The story starts off by telling the viewer about Catnap and Dog Day. Dog Day is just a normal fucking dog who lives a normal life with loving owners. Catnap, on the other hand, is a stray cat that lives on the purple hue shifted streets of wherever this story takes place. Due to all the assets for this video being AI generated, Dog Day looks like an actual dog, while Catnap still looks like a stuffed animal. This is never brought up in the story, you just have to accept that in this universe, cats look like this. What I just said, just now, pretty accurately describes the first three minutes of this video. Keep in mind that the whole thing is only eight minutes. If you didn't know, to get extra ad placements on a YouTube video, the video must be at least eight minutes long. It used to be 10, but that was changed a few years ago. If you take a look at the Film Beast channel, you might notice that pretty much all of their normal story time videos are either close to or exactly eight minutes long. It's no coincidence either. It's not like all these stories just so happen to take eight minutes to tell. No, what the film B does is explain very basic situations or events in these stories in insane detail, kind of like when your high school teacher gives you an essay with a word count, so you just start using a bunch of descriptive words to reach the necessary amount faster. The story I'm talking about here probably could have been told in less than half the actual runtime. If that isn't content farm activity, I don't know what is. Anyway, 
eventually this maybe real, maybe stuffed animal catnap gets sick and tired of Dog Day getting all the attention and love. Even though I don't even think it's remotely explained why they would know each other, but just ignore that I guess. Catnap comes up with a plan to kidnap Dog Day and put him in a sewer, which he ends up going through with. He uses a cartoonish ass net to swoop up Dog Day and steal him from his loving owners. Once in the sewer, Catnap becomes a full on scientist for some reason and starts trying to find a way to take the loving nature that Dog Day has from him to inject into himself. This ends up working and Catnap goes back to the house where Dog Day once lived and essentially takes his place. The remainder of the video is an overly detailed explanation of what happened to Dog Day after the loving nature had been taken away from him. TLDR, he turns into an evil fucked up monster. Just as you think Catnap and Dog Day are going to verse, like the fucking title says, the Morgan Freeman AI voice says that he isn't gonna tell you the rest of the story and the video's over. The end. <laughs> Honestly, I shed a tear, man. That was one of the most beautiful stories I have ever heard. I find it funny that there is a single image in this video that is just an actual screenshot of Poppy Playtime, which just goes against literally everything else that the story had set up. <laughs> Okay, great. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, but I think it's a funny little corner of the content farm world that isn't talked about much. For a good reason, might I add. This shit is so nothing, but it's still a little funny. Anyway, let's wrap this up. I give the film B an AI-generated picture of Dog Day out of 10. Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is a really cool game, and I'm glad that the series is finally going in a better direction after a year of mascot horror trash. The content farm stuff, on the other hand, is pretty much the same as ever. The people who try to bait with NSFW are still doing it, the fake gameplay videos are still rampant, and the AI slop is still AI slop. As much as things change, they really just stay the same. I'm sure something will come along in a decade's time that will have the same impact on content farms that Poppy did, that Ban Ban did, that Digital Circus did. It's only a matter of time. Anyway, I hope you learned some stuff, and I hope you had fun listening to me ramble about some of this weird YouTube shit. It's really my favorite pastime at this point. I guess I'll just end things here then. Tune in next time when I talk about... Granny, probably, maybe? I actually don't know, but it'll probably be that. Keep your eyes peeled, and make sure to subscribe to this stupid YouTube channel. I've been uh, yeah, and I'll see you all next time.